Hi guys and welcome down to Improve My Golf and welcome down to Davium Golf Club and if there was ever ever a vlog that would be most relative to I would suggest 75% of golfers, certainly that I teach and certainly that I've done playing lessons with. So it's actually you guys that, if you guys are watching that I brought onto the golf course, you've inspired me for this video. It's a video where I see so many golfers not take practice swings. They have a quick look at the yardage, they grab a club and they hit the ball. I mean, I can't even comprehend being able to do that. I've just hit, you just hit a driver and now you've maybe got a wedge or a hybrid or an iron in your hand and you're just going to hit it. No kind of care taken to set up the kind of the general basic fundamentals of, of set up and what the shot's going to do, what the shot's going to produce. And I did a playing lesson the last two weeks with two separate people, so I'm not going to name and shame anybody, and their golf got so much better once I just kind of stopped them, made them work through a slight process, so said, right, you've got this yardage, how far do you hit that yardage? What club? Excellent, right, let's go for that club. Actually, it's downhill and downwind. Let's go a club less. Great idea, let's do that. Then we'll do a couple of practice swings. On your practice swings, have two, just no, no more than two, and have a little bit of an exaggeration of what you feel like you've been working on that you want to try and put into your golf swing, okay? So you go through setup, a couple of exaggerated practice swings, line up from behind the ball, check the alignment, get make sure you're lined up in the right direction, and then take your shot. And golfers are very scared of slow play. It's ridiculous. Most golfers are so scared of slow play. All you've got to do is keep up with the group in front. If you're taking a little bit longer over the ball to hit a better shot, you're gonna play faster. You're not gonna to have to stop and play as many shots. Granted that you play that shot very quickly, but if you hit the ball badly into the trees, and then you're gonna be looking five, three to five minutes for your golf ball. And then when you find it, you're gonna hit it, you're gonna thrash it. Honestly, the golf's gonna take so much longer. You take that extra, I'm only asking for an extra 20, 30 seconds practice time where you just sit there, think about the shot, the yardage, the club, a couple of practice swings or maybe something you've been working on, something you want to work on. If you don't have lessons, just kind of have a nice practice swing that you feel confident with, brush the grass, feel confident in what you're about to do, and then just step up and put that confidence on the golf ball. So I'm gonna do a vlog today, I hope this doesn't go too well, where I literally just look at the yardage, grab a club, and hit it, and we're gonna see how many, presume over, I score. If I shoot under, well, at the end of this video, I'm gonna hold my hands up and say, I've just found a brand new way to play golf. I don't think I will, though. I'm gonna play a three hole vlog, and I'm just gonna do the best I can, but I'm gonna use a bit of visualization for the yardage, in terms of how far I need to hit it. I'm gonna grab a club, I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna waggle the club, I'm just gonna set up and hit it. Now, I think I'm at a slight advantage where I know I'm very, it's very natural for me to get into a chipping stance, it's very natural to go to a pitching stance, it's natural to set up for the driver, I grant, granted. But it's not natural for me to have no practice swings, no visualisation, no thought process, no bushnell, and just generally hit the golf ball. That's not something I'm very good at at all. But I'm interested to kind of see how it goes. I'm not gonna lie, I absolutely ripped it. Into the trees. Well, that's rather unfortunate, isn't it? I mean, okay, whatever about practice swings, you can't do anything about bad luck. Right, so, how far have we got? 100, uh, about 50 yards. We're wandering over a tree, a little bit more. Already I'm struggling to not visualise it actually, especially when I get into a position like this. So I've got a pitching wedge, should be about right. Yeah. 
worked out pretty well. Stay off that bunker, come back round. Yeah, did that quite well actually. Felt so unnatural to not have a practice ring or at least feel if that tree trunk was going to be in my way. But that's where we finished there. Chance of birdie. Really difficult to try and get the pace of the green, not even just being able to have a give myself a feel to be able to do it. Obviously, putting, I think 95% of golfers do line up to an extent. Not a full read, clubbing behind. Gotta be honest, there's a little less negative thoughts going on though. <laughs> it's always a positive. Not as much negativity. I'm a little bit unsure about where the line was gonna be, but you have to just you have no time, you just gotta to commit to it. I think it's just important to show how important it is to have a practice ring before you take a shot. Give yourself the best possible chance to not make those silly mistakes, but also then be able to Max, in best improve your score. It's the only way you can do it. Technique's all well and good, but I kind of think the one thing I'm bringing to this is my technique's okay. I mean, it's not that bad, but it's not very easy when I don't really have any time to prep myself. So my last shot I just hit was a foot. Now I am. Um, now I'm hitting a four iron. Right? Got to hit it towards the corner and then I can go towards the green from there. So par five, dog leg round to the left hand side, 478 yards. So not long in distance, but big dog leg to the right hand side. So you got to lay up to the corner and then go from there. I've done the first one thing wrong straight away there, I've lined up. Swing was nice, a little bit left side. Not the most aggressive tee shot, but should be okay, that. Interesting shot ahead. I presume a lot of golfers would sit back and have a quick look at this. Then what can they really do? Going over is probably the option. For me, it's going to be just kind of going slow. Going round ever so slightly. So I'm going to aim just right of the tree and draw it back. Difficult shot. But no time to waste. Gotta get in for those tea and crumpets. Just didn't draw enough and it's just gone out towards the trees on the right hand side. Felt like I put the draw swing on it, but obviously not. Right, what's the plan from here? High, I think, is the only option. We go from there, we've got to go up and over to the green. It's not a long way, it's not an easy shot. I've got my blades, I'm going to go as high as I can. Open the face a little bit, hit it hard and high really. Oh, just caught the side of the bunker and just kind of bounced right, so just short of the green, chipping a foot for a par. Second shot was a killer. Okay, gonna go with a little 54 degree, I like this little shot for a chip and run. We'll try and land it about halfway. a bit long. Sit! Sit! Just went a little bit too far back, a little bit aggressive. Nice strike. A 
literally feel like I'm playing speed golf. I think the impact, just playing fast over the balls have it. I feel like I'm walking fast as well. Like I'm, my heart's racing. I'm going to be exhausted. This is only going to be three holes as well. Imagine doing 18 like this. Fair play, gents. Oh, how? If I'm going to be totally honest, I feel like it's helping my putting. I've literally not been able to be, I've not even been able to be negative yet. I didn't even look at the line, just kind of looked at a very brief look and thought, yeah, left to right, hit it on that left edge and try and knock it in there. There's the wheels of doom, look at those beauties. Davium Golf Club, gorgeous little crest. Davium, believe it or not, was the golf club I was a member at as a junior. So I've been here many, many a year. Maybe that's what's helping me as well. This might prove my case in point. I feel like I was quite vindicated there. The first guy took a, decent, he took a practice swing, decent practice swing, fair play, but didn't really line up, didn't kind of, the hole kind of shapes from left to right, and he didn't really get on the right side of the tee box to suit his shape. The second guy just hit it. He just checked there was no one behind him and hit the ball. And then he was very surprised when he sliced it into the trees. And fair enough, Three, three elderly gents just enjoying a round of golf, and I get that. That's 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 neither here nor there. But I just think that you can't be surprised if you hit a bad shot if you've not attempted to hit a good one. The attempt over the ball was to hit a good one. The intention was to hit a good one, but the the preparation to hit a good one just wasn't there. And that's what you're going to get when you just don't prepare at all for something. First guy actually hit an okay one. It's in the left trees, but. From the angle of this hole, it's actually not too, on that hole. It's actually not too bad. So he had a he had a mini practice swing, hit the ball. Second guy just hit the ball and then was really surprised it went into the trees. That's golf. Next one up here, we've got 147 yard par three. So just gonna pop over to there and just hit a um, just I don't know really, just gonna hit a wedge and see what happens. Shot just about a pin high actually, to be fair, it's quite a good shot, about 20 feet right. Very good shot actually, in fact I'm quite happy with this outcome, I just pushed it a little bit but took that aim for the flag and pushed it a touch but it's ended up in a very nice position so I've got a chance of par, uh, birdie, get back to level par. Right, I will use this method for putting. I'm gonna do one more hole because we've just played 17 there. We're gonna play up 18 as well. So make it into a little four hole. I'm back to all square. I'm doing 
I'm doing all right. I'm doing better than I expected. I think that's, I think that's technique. I think that's just a bit a kind of knowledge and pure habit of being able to change my my setup from I don't know from from a four iron to a pitching wedge to a, a, a putter. I know I kind of know what I'm doing straight away. So that's very instinctive to me, which, I, which I'm quite I'm relatively lucky with in terms of this vlog. But in terms of how I feel inside when I'm hitting a shot, over a putt at the moment, there's no chance to be negative. I'm not really, I just picked a line and hit it, which I think is fantastic. Over a golf ball for a full shot, I have got no idea what I'm gonna do. Genuinely, I just don't know. I just don't know if I'm gonna slice it, if I'm gonna leave the, close the face and hook it with the fast hands. I don't know, genuinely. Um, I've, had, I've had no preparation for the shot. I, don't, I can't expect a good shot if I haven't tried beforehand to hit a good shot in terms of my preparation. Putting's a bit of a revelation though. Thing is, I'm not sure how long that can hold up. It's obviously a bit of a beginner's look. If I get on some greens that are a lot more, get on some greens that are a lot more slopey, can't get away with that, surely. Certainly not going to try. 18th hole is a shortish one, 338. So I'm just out here with an iron. So I've got four irons going to hit straight through the gap. As you can see there, probably keep it to the right side of that gap is the goal. It gives a really good angle then into the um, into the flag from there. Don't like teeing it up too much. I like to feel the strike. just just push and then just cut a little bit to the right hand side but I'm probably in and around about the 150 it wasn't a great wasn't a great shot to be honest with you okay I feel like this is the first real test um, I'm inside the 150 marker which is just here so I'm around about 140 ish to the middle of the green flag to the back so I'm going to hit a little, kind of hit a should just fly out a little bit more. Um, last place I want to go is with a flyer over the back with a 9-9, nine -nine, so I'm just going to stay away from that shot. I'm going to go middle of the green. Oh. Just try and get a wedge in there. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I just cleared that left bunker just cleared that left bunker thought i was going to hit my friend uh, james on the head then with the with the ball but he's safe as houses over there no just over the bunker chance of birdie right i've got a birdie attempt Red break, but well, not quite. Right, let's tap this in for par. Ah, oh, not a bad, not a bad game, not a bad game. Level par for the four holes, one birdie, one bogey. Guys, thanks very much for watching. Please do comment below. Is this something you do? Get some practice swings in. Don't be surprised if you get a bad shot if you haven't prepared well for the shot in hand. Please do subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media platforms: Carters Golf on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter as well. And we'll see you again very soon.